Okay guys, I'm gonna show you a very simple sequence that you can do right now and then we're gonna use all of these tools to explore its depths and allow you to continue training on your own. We're gonna start with a stick just to show the basic sequence. It's an angle one with an angle two and then going into an angle two to an angle one. Where the exploration really happens is in that transition, angle one and there's angle two. To get back to an angle two, we got this thing happening and we got this thing happening. I'm not gonna teach you the correct way to do it. I want you to explore. So one, two, two, one, one, two, two, one. One, two, two, one. Pay attention to how you transition. Again, I'm not gonna show you the correct way to do it. I want you to explore. Just be aware of where your edge might be impacting on your opponent. One, two, two, one. Can this be tighter, right? Can it be bigger? Now what if we had a karambit with a single edge? How the hell are we gonna do an angle two? Maybe this way? One, two, and then how are we gonna get back to two? Straight blade, single edge. One, two. How are we gonna get back to two? Maybe you step back, right? Maybe your angle one and your angle two is here, and then you gotta do something else. What if you had a hammer? One, two, two, one. What if you have it on the other side? Think about the implications that might have. One, two, two, one. Now we've got an impact weapon that's for one reason or another inoperable. One, two, two, one. This may look silly, but again, don't see it as a gun at this point, just see it as an impact weapon. It could be a rock. What if weapon characteristics was like this bike lock? How will that change the nature of how we do? things, right? Maybe there's an impact point we want to be aware of and that will be our edge. One, two, two, one. What if it was heavier? What if it was lighter? What if it was flexible? Maybe you deploy on the two and then you need to get back to one. Again, using different tools and different characteristics allow us to explore. Finally, back to the stick, back to basics. I want you to be able to do an angle one an angle two and then transition back to an angle two to an angle one. Explore, explore, explore. Hope you guys enjoyed that lesson.